Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. This is behind the scenes on your person. So we are behind the scenes on your person, Libra, just to kind of give you a leg up on things, all right? It always helps, right? Especially if it resonates, right? That's another story if it may not, but let's see what we got. Uh, because these are general readings, right? May or may not resonate. And we've actually been hiding out. They have a huge hedge at the side of their estate. Yeah, they live in an estate. Did you know that? <laughs> Yeah, let's get into the reading, you guys. Uh, they may not live in this state, right? Most people don't. Let's get a charm for your person. This is their reading, Libra, to give you a heads up. Heads up, leg up, toe up, whatever you want to call it. And we have the key. This is the key, and this is the key with the kind of <clears throat> uh, flowers at the end. There, it looks like there's a little, yeah, there's like some hearts here, too. Yeah, your person has this. So let's see what we have. <clears throat> I, feel like, I feel like in the last reading... <clears throat> they were all about you, yeah, I mean, big time. So let's look at the their energy right now, Libra, is the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's the Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords showing up for them. The Magician card, and now they have the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Your person is, like, in their head about change, yeah, right? About change, favorable change, good change. Queen of Swords, uh, Libra, this is you. I feel like this is all about you, right, for sure. Uh, but the Queen of Swords is here. This is what's on their mind. It could be you, right? Of course, Six of Swords in the near future. We, I just did, uh, <clears throat> I think it was uh, Virgo's or Sagittarius' reading with the Six of Swords right here in the same position. Different deck, I believe, yeah. And the Five of Swords now, wow, they're next to each other. <clears throat> Interestingly here, I feel like there is a situation here where there could be uh, some sabotage or some uh, <clears throat> some difficult situation, but your person is leaving. They look like they're leaving in the near future, so maybe they're with someone else. Uh, but let's have a look. We're going to find out. The Ace of Swords showing up, and it's going to be in their environment, okay? Yeah, and what they want is over here. I'm going to put be pulling this in the extended and yeah what they want and their <clears throat> their outcome will be in the extended let's get right into the reading they have the key here and uh, maybe your person is a magician which is aries right but they could also be another air sign libra or aquarius they could and let's get into the reading here their energy right now is the eight of wands and the six of cups <coughs> Let's see here. I'm hoping this is for you, right? I, I feel like it is, but let's find out. The sun card, your person, their energy right now is change and happiness is what's on their mind. It could be clarity too, uh, but I feel like it definitely has to, to do with, uh, it could have to do with clarity. I feel like it has to do with happiness too, right? But when we see the key, the key can be like about both, about clarity, right? Like I need, <clears throat> kind of like I need, like the key, like I need my clarity in order to kind of turn the key or to have the key to a situation, right? But we know it's about love, right? All the time, every time the key is about love. And you could be dealing with somebody where you guys are moving in together, maybe, but you know, the key can be like a real key, right? Yeah, the key to, but I feel like it is the key to their heart, right? And now we have the uh, Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So your person could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Libra. Mm -hmm. For me, they want change and happiness in their life, and they are somebody from your past. Unless they are moving towards somebody else here. Because this Five of Swords is a little troubling. It is showing up in their concern. Maybe they're worried about you leaving. We're going to find out. we got to finish the reading here, you know, at least kind of make some leeway here. Not the first two, uh, two, you know, placements. The Queen of Cups now. So I feel like there's a third party here, definitely. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then an Earth sign here. And now we have the Ace of Cups showing up here in the root. This is why it's all happening. Yeah, they want <clears throat> an opportunity in love with somebody. I'm going to get a card. Uh... Actually, on this Ten of Pentacles over here. And Libra, this is going to be uh, the recent past for them. It is the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This could be saying they were in a great relationship. Like, uh, 
kind of, you know, on the good side here, they were in some really great relationship where there was give and take. But I'm feeling this is third party so far, all right? That's how I'm feeling here. So this Six of Pentacles could also speak to that. This Ten of Pentacles is a union. I feel like in the past, they also had some type of financial stability going on for themselves. There's too many Pentacles here to kind of negate that or deny. And now they have the, uh, the Ace of the Two of Cups. It is in the reverse, though. It is. <clears throat> because, yeah, it is. So... <clears throat> Let's hear, this looks like, this looks to me like they were in a third party in the past. That's how it looks here. Let's continue to find out. And now we have the Emperor showing up in the upright, right? And this is Aries. Could be in the root is the Magician. I feel like this is about control, though. For some of you guys, there is an Aries. But I feel like in the past, they, they had control of a situation. They had some type of power here, or they were like... Uh, like they could have been <clears throat> kind of like putting things in order, like controlling their empire. The death card, yes, they were. This is an ending in the recent past. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, with the two of cups in the reverse, like a breakup. I feel like there is a transformation in this reading, though, too. Queen of Swords is what's on their mind. I do believe that is you. The Queen of Pentacles, your person is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn for many of you guys. The Knight's here, the Queen is here, and now we have the Nine of Cups. This is what's on their mind. This could be you, definitely. Uh, you are their wish, but for sure, they could be in this energy, though. This is what we're going to find out, this energy of trying to analyze something because or discern something, kind of same thing, because over here they have the Page of Swords. <coughs> Your person could be concerned you're in a third party. They could be. We're going to find out here. In the near future, they have the Six of Swords. And now they have the Four of Swords. They're thinking about leaving here. They're reflecting, leaving a situation. The Hermit. I feel like it's a Virgo because they have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. Queen and the Knight, rather. Uh, wow, this is a lot of reflection, though. And the King of Swords is here. Somebody is in some type of a third party in this reading. Somebody is. In the near future, they're either leaving you, they're, they look like they're leaving you, or you're leaving them. But you guys, uh, they could be leaving somebody else, but we have the Queen of Cups here and the King, the Knights. That means that there is, you know, an Earth sign and a Water sign in the reading. We know you are neither, right? Uh, you are the Queen of Swords. So we know there's a third party here. Your person wants change. I feel like what they are doing here is gaining clarity on change. They are. They could be concerned that you're going to go, though. This reading can be, it can go back and forth. Yes, it can. Let's get some oracle cards for your person so we can uh, figure things out here. Let's see what we got. Show me the energy. And I'm going to get some other cards, not those cards. Where are the tea leaf cards? Let's see what we have for Libra's person. For Libra's person. Mm -hmm. And Libra, uh, you can get a reading right now, a third-party reading. They're usually $100. You can get one for $50. You get a reading on your person and also a love reading for $50 right now because it is Libra season, all right? Even if you are just a Libra moon or rising, you can still get that. And the Weeping Willow card, Family Sorrow. Yeah, see, I said there's a third party here, definitely. And in the past, it looks like there was an ending with the Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, there was. I feel like there was a past in the end, uh, there was an ending in the past, uh, let's see what else we have, and then we have the woman, dealings or relationship with a woman, <clears throat> well, it's usually the case, right, but let's see what else we got, there could be three men here, it's a possibility, I'm not going to discount that, let's get one more card, uh, usually when these women, like when a woman shows up, it usually kind of means a third party, especially next to the family sorrow card. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let's see. Let's get one more card. Why? Let's get one more card. Why is the woman card there? Let's see. And now we have the July card. Okay. I'm not really sure why this is showing up. This could be, uh, this could be something happening this July. Uh, we just passed July. So 
<clears throat> the next July, really, but that is about 10 months away, nine months away, maybe. It's kind of far, but, you know, this could be happening. This this reading could, is for somebody out there. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Let's get a card here on the root with the Magician and the Ace of Cups. And this is why it's all happening. Somebody, your person's trying to manifest something here. Manifest some type of a union. They're thinking of leaving or they're worried that you're, or not worried, I haven't seen worry here, but, or they are thinking you're going to leave them. It's either or. So let's see. And let's get a card on that Ace of Cups. And we have the Four of Wands. This is uh, a union, right, next to the Ace of Cups for sure. And the Devil card that could be uh, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, right? We see the Queen and the Knight. Uh, I feel like your person, they could have some fear here. Let's look, though. This could be the devil card is cheating sometimes and the star card. <clears throat> For some of you guys, this reading is about, uh, is about a Virgo or a Capricorn. Let's get one more card. Let's keep, let's keep going. I'm going to pick up a new deck here because I just feel the need. Let's get one more card on the star card because... I feel like your person is trying to gain clarity here on their own, uh, on some type of something. I feel like it's cheating, family sorrow. I feel like they are trying to, I'm not sure if they are feeling the sorrow or you are. Let's get a card on the star card. I don't see them grieving yet in the reading, though. Be the devil, you know, let's let's see here. Queen of Swords in the reverse, in, the, in their, uh, it's in the upright. Okay, good. Okay. So... And now we have the star card again. Wow, give me an Aquarian here for sure. This reading can be about you, <clears throat> like, kind of like in the past, or it could have been an ending, but this reading can be about, you know, you kind of rejuvenating your own situation with your person. Knight of Wands, in the reverse. So let's see what is showing up. This could be a lack of courage on their part. It can be a player sometimes when we see the Magician showing up. Why is the Knight of Wands there? Two of Pentacles. Here they are thinking about healing a situation. I, I feel like it is with you. Uh, I feel like there was a third party... Let's keep going here. So this reading can definitely go back and forth. It can. So your person is thinking about uh, healing a situation with somebody or they are thinking you're going to do it. It's that simple here. King of Pentacles showing up and the Ten of Pentacles. This is their concern. This is sabotage. And this is, could be mind games. But I feel like it is more like uh, kind of sabotage here and defeat. Yeah. And what's in their environment? Show me their environment. Show me the environment for Libra. Mm -hmm. Libra's person, beg your pardon, the Hermit. Yeah, there's a Virgo here for sure, because we see the Virgo card here, the Hermit, and we see, you know, there's two Earth signs showing up, uh, the King and the Queen, the Knight and the Queen, and now we have the Four of Swords. This is in their environment. They're all in their head. Your person is thinking about leaving to uh, reunite with somebody, or it is you, either one. And let's look at their... Uh, let's look at their desire, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you see they're making a choice here. Why do they have that Seven of Cups? I usually don't uh, include this part. I usually include it in the extended, but I want to know here because uh, these readings sometimes are vice versa. Yeah, Page of Wands showing up, and the Nine of Wands, they're overwhelmed. They want to make a choice. Your person is trying to make a choice here uh, about a new path, and they have... Okay, okay, so this is an ending of a third party. We're going to go over to Vimeo and find out if they are uh, kind of walking away from you or, or, you know, or they're going to work on things with you. But I feel like this is, you know, it could be a new path between the both of you. It doesn't really look that way, but we're going to find out, all right, because there is family sorrow showing up right here. 
And regardless, we're going to find out all about them. Yeah, that is uh, where the, uh, the tell-all lives, right, on Vimeo. If you guys can't access that, uh, that video, you can always write me, you know, email me at powerandlighttarot.gmail.com. I will send it to you direct, yeah. And so, because there have been so many issues, we're going to see how they really feel about you. This is why it's a tell-all. And what's kind of standing in your way, possibly, or maybe in their way, and what they could be hiding from you, that is key, right? The key is here. I feel like we're going to find out what they could be hiding from you and fearing and also the future between you guys, all right? I feel like this is a breakup, though. I do. But we're going to find out over there uh, just what your person is up to. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys.